So now that we know about stations, let's discover another element from the space markup, which is the custom station. The custom station can take any shape or form. You can add any po a lot of points. It's basically a polygon. But this cannot be over the conveyor as the other station is. It has to be in the beginning or at the end of a conveyor. So let's put this one at the end. To be sure that you're connecting to it, you should have this greenish point happening because there's nothing that actually tells you that it is connected besides that. So be sure that you're doing it correctly. So the station will be there. In the convey block, you can define the target as a conveyor, as the position of the conveyor, which is this one, as a station or as a custom station. Let's use the custom station and we will choose, of course, the only one that we have, which is this one. This is the destination, but nothing is happening on the custom station. So let's add the most basic thing, which would be a delay. So let's pick that up from here and let's put a delay here of maybe two seconds with a capacity of one. And the custom station will have um, an agent location. So the agent can be placed near the conveyor, which will be near the conveyor, exactly here. It can be placed at the center here or randomly anywhere in the station. So let's put it near the conveyor. But here you need to be careful. An error is actually happening. When the box arrives to the delay, it's actually waiting here at the end of the conveyor and not in the custom station. Why is that happening? Because here in the conveyor properties, you have the option to decide if you want to for the agent to leave the conveyor on exit or not. Right now, it's not leaving the conveyor on exit. That means that the delay will occur in the conveyor. So let's allow the item to leave the conveyor on exit. Also, be sure that your exiting agents are going to stay where they are, because otherwise, you will remove them from the space and they will just disappear. If they stay where they are in the end of the step, since the target is the custom station, they will stay in the custom station. All this is not super intuitive, but you need to learn that that's the way you do it. So let's run the model. And when you arrive to the end, the box will be teleported to some place in the custom station. This is not a smooth movement because it's just teleporting from the convey to the custom station through the delay. After this, we can just put another conveyor if we want. Let's be sure that this is actually connected the same way. You have to see the green thing here. And then we have it connected. And we can put, after the delay, we can just put another convey block in order to use that new conveyor. So again here, the box will be teleported from the custom station to the beginning of the conveyor without any particular smooth movement. Now to finalize this, uh, in order to make this same process only through blocks without so much Java and events, we can, instead of doing everything we we're doing, we can add a, another convey, another delay, and this delay can be the two seconds that we were using with a capacity of one. And in the convey, we will move from the conveyor to the position on conveyor, which is this one. And in the second convey, we will move instead from the conveyor, we will move from the position on conveyor, which is this one, to the end of the conveyor. And then we don't need to generate all this. We don't even need to block anything because the delay will happen anyways. So this will not be needed. Let's run it. So here we define the orientation differently. Uh, maybe I forgot, but it doesn't really matter. It stops here and it will rotate because we have defined the rotation in the other convey. But you can easily fix that if you want, but just defining the same rotation in the beginning of this convey. And also we didn't define the offset, so 
is maybe a little bit weird how they are entering, but it's easy to fix. Let's make the same thing that we were doing before, agent.length width and change orientation to left. So let's run it and you will see everything working exactly as it was working before.